This is the Pilates oblique twist, otherwise known as the bicycle. So we have our green band coming from the bottom rung. We have looped our ankle strap around the instep, so make sure that it's tight enough that you'll be that it won't slip off. And then the loop comes from above. Stacy's lying in the center of the evolution. Her hands are behind the head. So as the elbows press out, really make sure that we're not allowing the elbows to cave in. They stay nice and open. So the heels are together, toes are slightly apart, and then the knees are separated and aiming 11 and one o'clock as well. We take an inhale to find length through the back of our necks, and we're gonna exhale, curl up. From here, it's gonna be opposite shoulder to hip as she rotates around and she switches. You're gonna notice that she maintains that turnout or that external rotation of the legs. So we're not in a parallel position, but rather the knees and the toes are pointing out 11 and one o'clock each time. The elbow may or may not touch the opposite knee. More important to think about keeping those elbows nice and wide and bringing that shoulder over to our hip. We do one more to finish. Both legs come back together into that diamond and she'll exhale lower back down.